<laughs> when you said go f me, I'll come back. <laughs> Lads, ladies, fellow countrymen and women, there's been a lot of talk lately. Do I spend the money on a proper belt? Do I not? Do I cut corners? Do I not? Do I spend, strip, upload videos to the almighty tube and hub? Well, probably you shouldn't do that because it causes brain damage, damage, damage. So, can I cheap out? Go to my local army surplus store, buy Condor, get everything under $100, and it outbeat 511. With all that being said, is it worth it? Should I do it? Should I not do it? Today, we're gonna go over the Condor belt. Is it half-assed or is it kick-ass? Start the video. Okay, now that you saw the kick-ass montage we just put up with my cameraman's audio in the background, super awesome rapping. He's gonna start his own. What's that? What's that thing rappers do? Uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, check out my SoundCloud. Hey, bro, check out my Spotify, bro. <laughs> okay, so like we said in the intro, is it worth it? Today's the Condor. We have a Condor battle belt. So on their website. Um, it says this is a Condor Slim Battle Belt. Uh, it's a little slimmer compared to the, some of the other battle belts they have. Now, real quick, everything on this belt is Condor, except for my IFAC. Uh, this is actually from a chest rig. It's a Vismix chest rig, Amazon exclusive. And um, I actually like this IFAC a lot more. We'll go over the medical and what I like and don't like, and then we can talk all that in a later episode. But all that out of the way, all Condor. <clears throat> so i went to my local army surplus store and i said oh my god they have all this junk <laughs> for a decent price can i build a pretty good battle belt system can i save the extra 45 to another hundred dollars and not have to buy a ronin not have to buy a 511 can i do condor well as you saw in the video and the footage it's a pretty simple belt I like the belt. First off, starting off, I do like the belt. It is possible to integrate it with your two layer system. Ugh. Mr. Hollywood, what does that mean? Two layered system. I'm glad you asked. Two layered system. So, um, two layers, right? You have your inner belt, then you have your outer belt. It is possible to integrate the both. Now, this is our 511 uh, Maverick, but they sell an exact similar copy on condor the only exception is instead of this soft velcro it's the hard velcro which in my opinion they did wrong this should, should not be like that you should have the soft velcro that's my first bitching complaint 
with the Condor system. But <clears throat> with the Condor system, they have these non-slip grip pads. All you have to do, take them off. There you go. Now, this will integrate with your inner belt, uh, a Condor inner belt. So you have to get theirs. Uh, obviously, like I said, uh, their inner belt is the rough Velcro. Their outer is the soft. That's the first gripe. Second gripe. Second gripe I'm going to go over is the... Second gripe I'm going to go over is the Molly system. Now, it is not laser cut. You're getting what you paid for, right? <laughs> it's not laser cut. Um, like we went over in our 511 video is that... high camera, man. Like we went over in our 511 Maverick belt. All right, so the 511, right? They, they're sweatshops. They did the laser cut. They probably spent more time doing their laser cut, doing their material, putting it all together. They also have that Austria uh, Alpine buckle. The Condor doesn't. Uh, I think what typically goes on behind closed doors, because that's most important. Who the hell is making it? Where are they making it? What materials are they using? Right? This is most important, which leads me to, I think Condor, they're able to skimp out, cut corners. They're not doing laser cut. Their molly is pretty loose. It's not very tight the way us boys want it. You want it tight, boys. Always remember that. You want it the tighter, the better. They're not using laser cut, right? That's kind of one of the problems. But like I said, you get what you paid for. It's not $145. I built this whole rig out just under 100 bucks, right? As it came out to like 90 something and some change. Now, is this belt set up the way I want it? Absolutely not. Um, the reason I didn't set another fucking car driving past us. Change up some scenery. Change it up on me, man. Change up the scenery, man. All right, so is this belt system set up the way I want it to? Absolutely not. Um, this is everything that I could find at my army surplus store that I didn't completely hate. Condor makes a lot of good stuff, but there's a lot of pouches that are garbage. Now, let's walk over here, and I'm going to show you guys the one pouch that I'm obsessed with, and that is this hydration pouch. Now, the reason why I love this guy so much that I think Condor did a tremendous job on is because <clears throat> this is a great, um, what were we calling it earlier? I think I kept calling it just a simple individual self-sustainment. That's what I wanted to use. This is a great self-sustainment, right? You got your big ass water bottle that you can put some, um, you can put a filter on, you know, whatever water bottle. Typically guys do Sawyer's. I love Sawyer's. Um, but you have your water, right? You have your hydration. Then coming into here, what I keep in my self-sustainment is another filter. A little bag for the filter and most importantly a way to start a fire most important thing is if you're out in the field right you need to start a fire you need water and the fire can cook your food can cook whatever you got going on if you got a kill if you got a little rabbit a deer whatever well now you can start a fire and cook it because you can't eat raw meat right that's against the law so now you have a self-sustainment kit condor i think did a great job i know there are other versions of this self-sustainment kit on the internet, but I really liked it. It wasn't super expensive. I think it was like 10, 15 bucks on their website. I don't remember how much it is. I'm sure it's around $20 on their website and then you have shipping and tax, but I highly recommend going in to your local army surplus. They're gonna have all this crap <laughs> at a much better price in my opinion. Um, my army Navy surplus store had it, you know, I mean, you can't beat the price. It's fantastic. You're saving a ton of money. I, I saved $45 building this guy out compared to this 511 one, all right, that we went over in another video. Uh, this, just the belt is $145. And then if you buy it online, obviously you have shipping. This guy, everything on it, under $100, ready to go. Now, leads me to my next point. Condor has somewhere, I think they're discontinued it. I think they stopped selling it. But... They have the little mag inserts that go in these pockets, right? So it's retention based. These are obviously just bungee based. I hate bungee based mag holders. I'm not a fan. I'd rather it be Velcro or uh, retention. And for all you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, this is a this is a, a hybrid retention. It's got the bungee and your little plastic. And you kind of heard that little click up in there. Um, this guy holds it. There's no bungee. There's nothing I'm having to do to get my finger altered around the bungee to pull it up and off. It's just grab, take out, and I'm ready to go, right? I think that 
Me personally, I like that system a lot better for taking out mags. I can beer grip it. I can do whatever grip I want to do. Um, and I have that opportunity to change it up if need be. If I'm laying down, whatever. If I got to get up on this and get it out. It's coming out. <clears throat> then, and, then, and so what I plan to do is get the aftermarket parts. Uh, you can get them off Amazon. Haley Strategic also has some really great ones. Um, the only unfortunate thing, I'm, I don't have the cash. I'd rather just get them off Amazon because they look the same to me. Sorry, Haley. I know we'll probably be doing a video here soon with you, but <laughs> they look the same off Amazon, man. Anyway, so I'll just throw those in so then I can take off the bungee system. Throw the bungee in an IFAC or a GP pouch, whatever. Uh, but the other thing I like a lot is that the uh, Velcro pistol mags are integrated into it, right? Now, I'm a big fan of Velcro pistol mags, in my opinion. There's just not enough weight in a pistol mag, personally, in the way I feel about it, to keep it snug in there for um, moving, running around, stuff like that. I often lose pistol mags compared to... Uh, AR mags. So I'd prefer it to be Velcro. In my preference, I know you guys are all different. Um, you let us know down in the comments what you think, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> do whatever you want to do, man. This is mine. This is what I could afford. <laughs> um, okay. So then, uh, then we have our IFAC, which again, this is, this is aftermarket. This is Amazon. Amazon exclusive. Set this one up. Thanks, Amazon. Um, this is an IFAC. Now, We'll go over the medical in a different video. <laughs> hey, Micah, pop up in here, bud. So this is my favorite thing about the belt by far. I think, uh, I think, I think Cry, Cry, and some other belts are doing it. But this is the integrated system. So right here is the inner belt, right? The belt that's gonna buckle up. But that's how simple it is. You want to take a different belt. You want to throw in maybe this style belt. Right, you want to throw in this one that's a little bit firm and stiff, whatever. Well, you just lift up all the Velcro. It's the same around. <clears throat> Golly, this shit's tight. Remember, boys, you want it tight. All right, so all that opens up. All right, now here's your belt, right? So, uh, again, Condor, very cheap. Uh, this is not their best belt by far. Uh, this one, I can say, was made in the U.S. I got it soft because this uh, the Condor Slim Battle Belt, this guy, is very rigid. And it's uh, it distributes the weight really well. We'll get into that here in a minute. But this is Condor, very cheap. Um, this is a, a pretty decent EDC belt, but it's not going to... It, it folds in on itself. So I, I get a different one. <clears throat> now... This is the belt system. So you have your uh, integrated, your rough Velcro. I haven't really figured out why this is rough, why they put this in here. I'm sure there's a reason. I think it goes for some of their other belts. I don't know yet. We'll figure that out the more we start buying Condor. But um, this is solid. Then you'll notice as well, if I put... <coughs> excuse me, guys. If I put my belt back in here, now I can run... Golly. Gosh almighty. So then you'll notice you have a little hole, a little slit right here. This is to obviously mount, drop, leg, anything. So obviously you can put a holster. Now, this holster is not for this belt. This is uh, off SIG's website. It's just a comp tack. I don't recommend it. If you guys are SIG P3, uh, P320 users, do not get this pistol It's gar or this holster. Go get it. It's garbage. I hate this holster. But anyway, you can see once you once I get it all situated, it fits in here just fine so the belt distributes weight so well i definitely got to bleep that out but i just i can't get over how well it's distributed there's some sort of um rigid system some sort of plastic in here uh within the nylon and then these have a little bit of retention as well they're a little bit rigid so it adds a little bit more uh snug ability and a little bit more um rigidness it'll it'll i mean it, it really just distributes everything so well so you clip them on right and i mean it just it moves with you it's really crazy how how well it is now that being said and i can't remember if i said this in the past but i cannot stand if it's just the one layer right this is a good 
at home self-defense where, oh, somebody broke in. I need to go you stack bodies real quick. Well, throw this on because you're in your boxers. You might even be naked. Throw this guy on. Get to working. Get going, right? You think they'll build our barn dominium? Where's, uh, where's Barry McCock in him? He's going to love that. <laughs> anyway, you're at home self-defense. Throw them on real quick. You know, light up the home intruder. Put 10 in the chest and two to the face. And I mean, it's solid. Throw them on, right? You're in your, your boxers. You're in your underwear. You're naked. Well, here you go. Now the, the last thing a home intruder sees is a naked battle belt just running and gunning. It's what you want. Before I turn you guys loose, before we cut this video in half, uh, let's go over the make material and where it was made. So, uh, it's all nylon. Obviously, you have rubber here. I think that's gone without saying. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that maybe a dozen times. This is rubber. Non-anti-slip rubber. I don't know what they called it. Uh, but it's all nylon. And then, like I said too, they have that plastic integrated within the nylon, so it's nice and nice and firm. Now, where the hell and which sweatshop around the world did they make this in? I don't know. They said it was imported. Um, so we'll take their word for it. Very similar phrasing and wording that 511 used. We don't really know which sweatshop it came from. I'm guessing they got maybe the buckle from China, maybe the nylon from Indonesia, Malaysia, wherever. I have no idea. We'll ask Barry McCockin him later and maybe he'll figure it out. Keep in mind, some products uh, from Condor on their website, it'll let you know if it's made in the U.S. There's only a handful. I don't see, I haven't seen a lot of U.S. made products, but they are on there. So considering it to be a, a U.S. brand, kind of, uh, you can kind of say it. It's kind of a U.S. made brand. Kind of not, kind of, kind of not really. Kind of, kind of, kind of. <laughs> Bro, did you know porn creates brain damage, damage, damage? <laughs> Hard cut. Guys, welcome back to the office. So uh, final thoughts, stuff that I didn't get to say at the range that I really wanted to, uh, but we ran out of time because uh, <laughs> I don't know why I got super busy. I think Colin uh, Noir, I think is how you pronounce it. I think he was there. So uh, we kind of got <laughs> super, super busy cramped. Anyway, back to the belt, the Condor belt. Um, what I wanted to talk about further and how to have a little bit more time to go over is, is the belt worth the money? Uh, I absolutely think the belt's worth the money. Absolutely buy it. I think the most important thing, like Plaid Daddy says, and like a lot of big other uh, YouTubers out there, train and kit, train in your gear, put in the plates, you know, save up your money, buy the plates. Uh, and first and foremost, definitely get yourself a rifle, get iron sights at the least. Um, but most importantly, train, train, train. Buy your gear, buy your kit, buy your belt, um, and see how you like it. My my favorite thing, and I think what a lot of other people have started doing, I think what's becoming more, um, more I guess, accepted within the culture, right? Uh, airsoft paintball, specifically airsoft. Everybody likes to do their mil sim, get out there, and you know, feel like it's the real deal. And you should. Don't let some and his stupid ass tyrannical thoughts deter you from going out there and training in full kit. If it's airsoft or if it's just your buds going out on a hunting trip, wear it. See how you like it because it's better to have a lot of these things ironed out before uh, any sort of tyranny or uh, actual physical conflict starts and the bullets start flying and now you're trying to figure out, okay, do I like this belt? Am I more of a, uh, a thicker um, belt style? Do I like <laughs> I like different vests figure it out right figure it out before shit starts to get really hairy because uh it's going to be a, a pretty big wake-up call when everyone's trying to figure out what which eyes dominant and you know you got your kit ready to go right so be ahead of the curve don't don't sit here on your ass you know thinking it'll eventually come you got to go out there and you got to train um so with condor with all condor products for the most part now we're doing a lot more condor reviews but anyway i digress for the most part, all Condor is pretty solid. Buy that stuff, wear it out to your airsoft, wear it out to the range, see how you like it. Um, and then when you start saving up more money, if you're like, oh man, I've you know got a got a tax return back. Oh, I I you know robbed a bank. Oh, hey man, um, uh, Facebook just lost all of its stocks, and now I'm a millionaire. Go ahead and buy yourself something a little bit more expensive, something top of the line, like a like a Cry with AWS. I always mess up their names. I'm dyslexic, so I. <laughs> I'm going to start flipping the words around. I believe it's AWS. Uh, check out AWS. They have great tactical gear. Their belts um, are fantastic. We're going to do a review on them here soon. For my guys that are on a budget, 
try it out. See how you like it. Uh, don't don't be afraid or don't think uh, we're we're gonna bust your balls for you know being on a budget. Everyone's on a budget. I bought the thing, right? <laughs> I'm on a budget still. I spent thousands of dollars on all this other gear and crap. So yeah, I got to save money somehow. Gas is you know five dollars, <laughs> right? So uh, don't be deterred from that. Go on Condor. Um, pick out your stuff, wear it, and uh, and show it off too. Show off to other guys. I think a lot of guys kind of make fun of it because it's like, oh, you're not gonna buy, you know, the name brand. It's like, well, no, dumbass, I don't have two thousand dollars just sitting around, right? And um, and show it off, kind of show them, you know, what you like and what you don't like. Share ideas. That's how uh, we, in my opinion, is how we become a little bit more bonded and stronger. Share the ideas. Don't let this information just go to waste. Build that culture. Keep the American culture alive and well. Don't just let, you know, the tyranny and these demons take everything we got, right? So those are the final thoughts. Lads and ladies, fellow countrymen and women, thank you guys for tuning into this one. Be sure to check out our Patreon. We're going to have uh, behind-the-scenes footage and then uh, B-roll and all kinds of extra crap that uh, we're going to give to you guys. We're trying to figure out a little bit more to Patreon what you guys want, so be sure to leave a comment down of what you'd like to see on a Patreon anything you guys are pretty interested in. We're going to start getting into uh, gun reviews and just, you know, shooting them for fun. We're going to get into night vision, more belt systems and more belt setups, mainly clothing. That's what we're going to stick to because uh, I think the um, the clothing lines that are out there, I think they just don't offer everything. So we're going to go ahead and stick to that and, you know, build up our, um, our clothing line based off Patreon as well. Uh, so share ideas, what you guys want to see, what you guys think. Comment like subscribe but most importantly subscribe like comment share to videos and, some, and youtubers like this one go give risky Krisky a follow give good him a thumbs up dude's awesome love that guy he's got great ideas great knowledge great information something to kind of think about chew on digest right get out there share his information along with ours go ahead and give psr that guy needs our help definitely go give him a like and thumbs up be sure to share his content the dude's a pioneer in his craft and field um i would love to see more of his work but he's uh, he's getting the tyrannical flag shoved up his ass right now so <laughs> he definitely needs our help go give him support don't ever ever let the tyranny win go ahead promote this don't be suppressed don't let them suppress us guys most importantly with all that out the way keep American culture alive and well. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Appreciate you guys.